Hi, I'm Braden Koiker, Grain Originator and Marketing Specialist here with Farmers Co-op Society coming to you on Tuesday, May 12, 2020 to discuss the USDA WASD report that came out this morning. Uh, this was a highly anticipated report as it's our first real look at the USDA projections for the 2020 and 21 growing seasons. Um, also a look back at some of the changes they made to the 2019 and 20 growing season as well. Uh, on usage and production numbers there um, as well. This is, like I said, highly anticipated report. Um, there was a lot of different predictions coming out from the experts ahead of the report. Um, pretty tough to, to try pin down what the USDA might be um, projecting for the year to come. Uh, as always, a lot of information to digest, so we just want to touch on some of the highlights here. Uh, on the corn side of things, um, really actually some bullish support in the market. Uh, as far as old crop goes, they adjusted some of the, the carry out slightly higher from the, the last report, but not as much as what the experts were projecting. Uh, and we did see this provide some support into the futures market today uh, on the old crop side, between two to, to just short of four cents um, on the old crop contracts. Uh, as far as new crop looks, um, really kind of kind of bearish, but within expectations, um, projecting a record production number um, for the year to come and also a uh, carry out number that hasn't been seen since the 80s even so we're, we're just going to have to be uh, monitoring the weather going forward to to see how that affects some of the markets and and be very careful about um, some of our marketing decisions on the soybean side of things there was a little bit of some bearish news in the old crop contracts um, adjusted carry out from the prior year up actually a little more than we were expecting and that did put some pressure on the markets to the tune of uh, two to three cents uh, down to the negative but as far as the new crop uh, production and demand looks going forward we actually did see a lower than expected carry out for the coming season um, and there again, we're just going to have to watch and see what the weather does and, and how we finish up this planting season. So far, it's gone well, although we did slow down here this past week, largely due to some of the cold weather um, that was predicted. And we did see, which caused a lot of the planters, I think, to, to stop ahead of the weekend. Um, looks like they have resumed now. So we'll, we'll keep watching that going forward to see how planting progresses and what kind of weather uh, uncertainties we might face and how they uh, affect the market. Um, as always, we will continue to watch these reports, um, watch the planning progress, um, production, and also um, what we see on the export side of things and see what kind of opportunities they give us for the coming marketing year. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself in the Sanborn office or by cell phone, my number being 712-360-1261, or you can contact Matt McCord in the Sioux Center office. Thank you.